Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. You're here. When I throw the ball, you're going to do this. Don't lose your pullback. And you're going to try to get it in that way. Cool? Yep. Perfect. I want you to hold it. And when your brain says go, bang it's as right. fast as you can go back uh, right once you say go it's like all in like uh, like like i said when you let go of the elastic that elastic's going to go from zero to 60 like instantly that's what uh, i want you to think you're swing so hold it there now pretend that i'm holding this here so now pick your front foot up good start to stride out yep and fight that to be back there do the same setup that you were just in with that front foot on the uh on the ball so now, like this, like this. So what I want you to feel, right, is when you start to move forward, all right, so start the coil, yep, be there. Now, when you start to stride forward, pick up, start to hover and move out. Feel how that's feel, making you feel like this leg wants to stay this way. Right. That's what I want you to feel as you're moving out there. So coil, hold it, you're just not gonna swing, but just pick up, hover, stride, and keep striding out, and then land, yep, come back. Like you want to really feel like you're like in that ground the whole way out, right? Okay. So like if you, if instead you pick up and push this way, you're not in like completely screwed down into the ground. So when I do this movement right here, that makes me feel like I'm going down into the ground, like screwing down in there. And now when I pick up and I move, like I should feel like I'm still in there as i'm moving out once i once my knee starts to do this my heel will pick up i've lost my back leg you know All i'm right. not still in there so do a couple more like that if you think about when i'm getting in the zone right so if you're swing go back to your first couple swings if you want to attack everything by getting here and doing this move like this your barrel can't get in the zone deep like it, it's never going to get turned behind the ball deep right so the only spot it can get to is kind of out there like way out in front of you right. so if I've got to hit the ball and I'm only going to go forward and down I have to hit the ball out there I can't hit it back here I'm not behind the ball right. so say you've got to get to like that spot to hit it now if you do the opposite and do what you're doing now where you're coiled you're pulling back and then you're doing this right so now when you do this you can get in the zone like deeper right. this way right so now i can hit that ball if i want to i can still hit it out there right i don't right. have to hit it out there though. that's the key so i do this i start to do this i could hit it here or i could hit it here i could i could hit it anywhere it's quicker for me to boom get to that spot by doing this than doing that you basically by doing this you've pushed the pitcher back a foot or two feet you know right. so you have more time it's, and you said you feel quicker. The quickest path to get into hitting zone is to do this from the inside. Whack, you're already there. Yep. That The first swings that you took this, that's where people get confused sometimes because the ball's coming this way and they say, okay, I need to go get that ball quick. My quickest route is to do that. But that's actually right. the, the longest and slowest route. The right. quickest route is to do to do that. Right. Now you're there. You know? So yep. that's why you feel a little quicker. As much as you can, think that that ball my my flip ball is going to get to say that point all right so right. that's your point right there everything is going to get turned back and run into that point don't worry about the ball coming at you make sense uh, yep cool back. 